Hi, this is Paul Rudolavich from Synergy Electrical Sales. Today we're going to talk about devices to control emergency lighting. We're going to show you the three devices that can do it and answer some common questions that we get with it. I'm not going to tell you if you're able to control emergency lighting. That's up to your code official, fire marshal, or electrical engineer. We're just going to help answer the questions about the devices, how they wire, and how they work. All right, so here we go showing you the three ways to control emergency lighting fixtures. So I'm going to draw a fixture here. Shade it in to indicate it's an emergency fixture. I'm going to show our power. Again, the goal here is to turn it on and off and have it come on in the event of emergency. So there's going to be our switch. All right, and then over here, we've got our emergency panel. All right, so to make this work, we're going to introduce a device. I'm going to show it right here, which is a shunt relay okay we're going to wire that in parallel with our switch and the idea is when um, power is lost the shunt relay closes turns the light on regardless of the switch position we need one additional thing to make this work so we're going to show our normal panel here and we're going to have show unswitched hot in there so if we lose power, shunt relay closes, this light comes on regardless of the switch position. Again, the power flows through here and through here. So it's easy and it works well. The one drawback is because power is always flowing through this switch, we, can only, we would need a separate switch to turn this fixture on and off. So if we had a room with 10 fixtures, nine normal, in one emergency, we would need two switches. So that works, but not always the most user-friendly application. So I'm going to show you the next application where we can use one switch to control nine normal fixtures plus one emergency fixture. All right. So in this case, we've got our emergency fixture. I'm going to show one up here. It's not shaded, and that's going to symbolize are normal fixtures. So again, we show power coming out here. All right. Over here to our emergency panel. But in this case, we're going to use a different device that's going to allow us to use one switch to turn again, nine normal fixtures, one emergency fixtures together. An automatic load control relay. It's going to do this. But we're going to put the switch in a different position to accomplish this. So I'm going to show it over here. So that's our switch. And we've got our normal panel. Okay. Power comes out of here from the switch. Goes to our normal fixture. That's pretty straightforward. But also from the switch, from that swing switch normal output we're going to come into the automatic load control relay and this is the one tricky part of this that i want to show you so you make sure you understand so in this case emergency power comes here into the automatic load control relay and goes out to this fixture this is normal power going into the switch coming into here so when th this switch is actually telling the power how to flow through here so if the switch is on power flows through here, lights on. If it's off, power, this light's off. So it's actually this is telling the automatic load control relay what to do to have that fixture, but it's always powered by emergency. And we also have unswitched normal, which when this goes away, tells this to turn on regardless of the switch position. So that's how we do it. So now we control 10 fixtures, nine normal, one emergency, with the automatic load control relay. And I'm gonna show you one other way of doing this, if depending on how the power distribution is run in your building. So we're gonna show our emergency fixture. We're gonna show our normal fixture. And again, we've got our power coming over here. And I'm gonna show this dotted over here to our emergency panel 
There's a reason I should have dotted, I'll get to that in a second. But we're gonna use an automatic transfer switch right here to accomplish the, uh, a slightly different power distribution. All right, we've got our switch. We've got our normal panel. Power comes out of here into the switch out to our normal fixture. And in this case, it also from the switch goes into the automatic transfer switch. What's different about this application is when you use an automatic transfer switch, normal power going through this switch, through the automatic transfer switch to this fixture. So this fixture is now getting powered by this panel. And so is this one, okay? So that panel's powering both of these through the automatic transfer switch. And we also have an unswitched hot coming in here. If we lose power, this goes away, and this is why I drew this dotted, this turns on, and now this emergency panel is now powering that fixture. So that's the third way of doing it. One thing I didn't mention was dimming, and if you use zero to 10 volt dimming, that can be used for each of these three applications, shunt relay, automatic load control relay, and automatic transfer switch. They just come with a separate, an additional set of contacts, which open up in the event of a power loss and turn the lights on to full bright. As always, thanks for watching.